Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. We have another hairstyle for you. You know I love to change my hair, right? Well, <laughs> I'm so excited today because I have this hairstyle I've been wanting to do for the longest. And yeah, my hair is crusty. I'm sorry. It's dry and crusty. I had it in a ponytail for a couple of days. And yeah, it's looking rough, but I'm trying to be real and this is what we're working with. Okay, so we're gonna go stand in front of the shower and that's what I did, hot steam to my natural hair and it softens the hair, loosens up the curls before we get started. So the hairstyle I've been thinking about is something I saw on this music video, okay? If you're Nigerian, you know this music video. So. It's inspired by African threading, but my technique is going to be different. I want to achieve this look somehow. I've never done this before. I want to achieve this look and I'm going to do it today. <laughs> and you're going to support me as I transform, okay? So for anyone that's new here, before living in the US, I used to live in Nigeria up until I was 16, okay? My father is Nigerian. So I grew up seeing girls with hair like this. This was very common to see threading hairstyles, particularly amongst Igbo and Yoruba girls. So not typical among Hausa people. And my father's tribe is Hausa. So I never had my hair done like this, but I saw a lot of girls with hair done like this. And I was always fascinated. Usually you would have somebody else do your hair. So you could have all these intricate hairstyles and some girls did it you know, as a style and some girls did it just to stretch their hair. So you could use it to stretch your curls or you could use it as a particular hairstyle, especially the really nice intricate ones. And they would use either a type of wool or a type of thread or a type of rubber. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm trying to do is to part my hair. And I have thick type four hair and you know, I always, uh, what's the word? Um, I'm very ambitious. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I am ambitious and did not realize that this would be harder and it's stressing me out just to part this hair. So I need a snack. Sorry, I need a snack. <laughs> I need some chocolate. All right, let's go back to this hair. Please, Habiba, we need to get this done. So my struggle <laughs> is that I can't get it to part straight. I want sharp, sharp lines and the way I'm parting it, it doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna go back and look at the picture some more because I'm not doing something right. All right, so what I realize is it's not just straight, it's curved. The lines are curved. So it has to be sharp, but also right. curved. Okay. This is not going to be as easy as I thought because you know when I looked at the hairstyle I was like, oh, it's clear that it's only five sections. I only have to you know try to wrap five sections So this is gonna be fast, but Parting is just taking me so much longer. It's like every time I part it messes up the next section or the next side and it was just very difficult to see my hair properly. You know, it's like I can't properly see the side or the back. But anyway, I think we're doing good here. That front part looks good. Let's add some shine and jam. Because when you add shine and jam and then go back and part, it makes it crisp, nice and crisp. You want to crisp, crisp like lettuce. <laughs> Parting. <laughs> that was goofy. Anyway, no, really. Um, we want the lines to be crisp, but it is gonna take me a minute. Yeah, you see, I have to use the mirror to see the back of my head or the side of my head. It's not easy. This is really a struggle. It's like I part and then I go back and it's messed up and I gotta do it again. And it's annoying. It really is. But I'm the type of person once I start, I have to finish or I have to continue. All right, so let's go to the other side and you can see what I'm saying. I've curved it, right? And I'm sure, you know, most hairstyles with threading does not require you to curve the lines. But in this particular style that I'm trying to almost replicate or inspired by, I'm gonna do it the way I see that video model has her hair. That's what I'm trying to do. So I need to do it properly. 
As I section the middle part off, I'll tell you about a friend I used to have in Nigeria. So we both attended federal government college, Sokoto. Um, she was a Hausa girl, really pretty Hausa and Fulani girl, fair skin, and she had thick, thick hair like mine, maybe even thicker and longer. And um, she was like one of the only girls I knew that had her hair in threading. So although she was Hausa, she, I believe, lived in Lagos. And so she was very much influenced by Yoruba people. So she would always have her hair in threading and it always, or African threading, and it always looked so beautiful. And um, she was so beautiful, so smart. She wanted to be a doctor. Um, she was also our head girl at the time. Anyway, we kind of lost contact after I moved to the United States and uh, come to find out that she got married and she got pregnant and um, she ended up passing away. She died basically because um, she had a very traumatic, uh, you know, child birth or child delivery process because she also had sickle cell. And if you know anything about sickle cell, um, it can be a very painful um, and yeah, very painful and serious disease, especially when you are stressed or when the body is stressed. But anyway, every time I see a girl with a threading hairstyle, I think about her. And um, it also reminds me how, you know, how much of a blessing life is and how, you know, unpredictable life is. And, you know, just to think of every day as a gift. Um, she definitely reminds me of that. And even though it's been so, so many years, I mean, over 30 years ago, I still often think about her, especially when I think about this hairstyle. So anyway, let's get back to the hair. As you can see, I have applied a rubber band, which is not a traditional way to do this hairstyle. But again, I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it the way I think is going to be fast and also based on the density of my hair. So that's why I have applied the shine and jam to smooth things out, brush it, and then I added the rubber band. But yes, if you know anything about traditional threading hairstyles, they don't do it like this. They just start wrapping, okay? So they just apply the um, thread or the rope or, you know, the string and they start wrapping tightly. But again, because I'm doing my own hair and not somebody doing it for me, I have to do it so that it's manageable. So yeah, as you can see, more shine and jam. It really helps to sleek the edges and then I really brush it in and I just like the effect it gives. It's amazing how my hair can get you know, sort of shiny and condensed once I add Shine and Jam or Eco Styler Gel. Once I apply the rubber band, I'm pulling the hair apart because this rubber band is very loose and I want this to be kind of nice and secure and sleek. And then I go ahead and twist it. In true Habiba fashion, we are going to dance because what is life if you're not dancing and listening to Flavor? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm such a goof. But no, really, I know how to entertain myself. That's one thing I'm going to do is entertain myself when I'm doing my hair. Now I'm applying the Shine and Jam. And again, if you don't have Shine and Jam, you can always use Eco Styler. I'm saying this as if you're gonna do this hairstyle, but maybe you will, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you'll be inspired to do something like this. You know what? I've never seen anyone in the US actually have this threading hairstyle. Like I know Africans that live here do the hairstyle, but often I see them like wear a wig over it or cover it up. They don't actually, you know, go out with the hairstyle. Anyway. We are done. We have our five sections. It's neat. It's as neat as I'm going to get it. And let's start having some fun. I need some hair. So instead of using thread, which I told you is the traditional way, right? To use thread. I am going to use braiding hair, you know, some leftover braiding hair to extend my own hair and also to use the braiding hair to wrap my hair. 
So I'm taking some sections out. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of experimentation. <laughs> and I'm also going to use a crochet hook to attach the hair. All right. At least one technique I thought about was using a crochet hook but I'll show you two different ways. So I inserted the crochet hook under the rubber band and then I drag the hair through it. So this is again, just an easier way to get the hair secure. Okay, one piece successfully in. I'm gonna add a second piece. It will make sense. I'm telling you, it will make sense or at least it makes sense in my head. <laughs> So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so now I have, what, four pieces? And then I grab three and wrap one piece around. So the technique I'm using in terms of the way I'm wrapping, that is rather traditional, okay? But the fact that I'm using hair to wrap my own head is not exactly traditional. And I think this way is how they make, you know, is how they do faux locks. So I know a lot of people who do faux locks that way, but see, it came out kind of short. So it's not as long as I want it. So we need another plan. We need another plan. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add another piece of hair with the crochet hook. Again, um, you know, underneath the rubber band, and then I'm gonna use that to wrap above what I've already done. Because it's not only that it wasn't, sh you know, long enough, it was also um, not as smooth as I wanted it, and it needs to be thicker. If you remember the model, it was thicker. Anyway, I'm running out of hair, so I'm gonna use this other leftovers. The problem is this hair is brown, okay? It's brown but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna braid it to the end of the, what looks like a lock. It looks like a faux lock right now, right? All right, I'm just gonna braid it and what's what that's gonna do is extend the lock. Okay, I need to stop calling it a lock because we're not doing faux locks here. No, this is not supposed to be faux locks. All right, I'm gonna wrap it, <laughs> the piece that I've extended because I need it to look a little bit sleeker and I need to cover up that brown hair. Here's a simplified version, okay? I know I made that seem complicated. Basically, just add hair to your own hair by braiding some braiding hair to it. Ideally, use black hair. That's all I'm gonna say. Just add some more hair to your own hair, but you make it black, okay? Now, I'm trying to also thicken it, which is why I kind of, you know, wrapped it around itself one more time. So you can make it as thick as you want to. For the next section, I wanna show you that you don't have to have a crochet pin. You can literally just keep it simple, grab your hair, grab a shorter piece of the extension and leave the longer piece hanging, and then use that to wrap around the hair. So I'm just keeping a firm grip of my hair with the shorter piece of extension and wrapping. And it works. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you cover the whole piece or cover the length of the hair. Okay, so you know how I said earlier, it would be so much better if I had black hair. Now I found like using this spring twist hair is like perfect because it mimics the texture of my hair. So I am braiding that to the end of my hair again to lengthen it. And now I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to properly cover it cause it's the same color. And then I start wrapping just like I showed you before. So, you know, it's like, you have to keep doing it to figure out what works well for you. And after a while it started to feel not bad, not bad. I'd rather do this wrapping thing than the party. And if you, you know, wrap it several more times, you can get the pieces to be thicker and smoother. So you see, I slowed it down here a little bit, real time. And yeah, you just keep doing that. Now I know it's not as smooth as the traditional African braiding, but it's okay, you know? It's somewhere between a lock and the smooth African braiding. Now I'm cutting off the bulk of the ends. You probably like, what are you doing? 
yeah, it was too long and so I'm just gonna cut it. But now I'm gonna have these blunt ends. So I'm going to burn the ends um, with a lighter. Please don't do this if you're not accustomed to doing this. You know, you could really burn yourself or set something on fire or set your hair on fire. No, uh-uh. I've been doing hair for years, okay? You can see the difference there. That one is now, you know, not as bulky as what it looked like before. So anyway, be careful if you do try this optional way. All right, so now I have my nice spider legs. <laughs> and this is where the art comes in. You have to uh, maneuver these pieces around until you get it to look the way you want. So here's the part where you pretend your hair is sculpture. Well, it is. It's art. It's our hair. It's magic. <laughs> but it's also tricky. So trying to do this and secure it in place was definitely tricky on my own. You know, I think it would be so much easier if somebody else were doing it um, for me, you know, um, but it's definitely attainable. Now, where am I going with this hairstyle? I don't know. I could be going to an art gallery or something really fancy. We'll see. I can't wait to show you the final reveal. And yeah, if you notice, I'm not using any tools, just my hands. There are no pins involved, just the hair, and it works. But I can't wait to show you the final reveal. First, let's clean up our edges just a little bit. And then with a little makeup magic, here we are. It's giving queen and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. What do you think? What do you think? I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so even though it's not perfect, I think it comes out pretty similar, right? You can see the inspiration behind what we did there. Uh huh. Again, it's not perfect, but you know, it's art. It's art and it's my hair. And it feels like I'm wearing a crown. Doesn't it look like I'm wearing a crown? Oh my goodness, so excited. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off the jewelry. This jewelry, you know how we love to accessorize. We love to switch it up. And let's try some different jewelry instead. How about some gold? We like our gold Fulani earrings. Let's add that, okay. Yes, shining, shining, shining. <laughs> shining, shining, shining. We love some yellow, yellow gold. Let's add a necklace to that. Hello, come on, where's the necklace? Come on, Habiba. Okay, here we go. And voila, it's a look, it's a look. Okay, for all the house up conservative people, let me cover up. They're telling me in my head that I'm showing too much cleavage. Okay, you remember this lace from my father? Here it is. Hey, all right. What would happen if I covered up the top of my head? Oh my God, I really feel like a queen, a princess, a queen. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I hope it inspires you, even if you don't do this actual hairstyle. But just do something fun, something different with your hair. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a like. And I will see you soon. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok you know, all the socials. And I'm also on Like to Know It as well. So you can find all the outfits that I wear and accessories. I will be linking them in Like to Know and check the description box as well. Bye!